All right, hello everybody. This is Give Your Anxiety, bringing you guys another AOE three video here. We're back in GUA June twenty twenty subscriber tournament. We're in the round of thirty two, and we have Samwise versus Crab Guy. Uh, this is best five game one's being played on Fraser River, and let's go ahead and spin the wheel for Samwise. Let's see what Siv Samwise gets here in game number one. Samwise getting the Russia Civilization, and we'll go ahead and spin it for Crab Guy. Let's see what Siv Crab Guy gets here in game number one. Crab Guy getting Dutch. All right, everybody. Getting into we're getting in game one here in the best of five in round of third two uh, between Samwise and Crabgat. <clears throat> game one being played on Fraser River. Samwise playing as Russia Civilization and Crabgat playing as the Dutch. All right, so we do have a bit of a skill gap here in this uh, round of 32 series. As uh, Samwise in the blue playing as Russia, he's one of the pretty much one of the all-time greats of uh, AOE three. Made his uh, he's made a name for himself in the history books of AOE three. Um, so yeah, very very good player, obviously. And meanwhile, Krabgat uh, Krabgat's in at the rank of a second lieutenant, which. You know, not horrible, but um, obviously more, a little bit more, much lower rank than semi-more casual. Uh, so, I'm going to pretty much focus this commentary on uh, Crab Yacht and help him, give him some tips, help him improve. So, if he wants to watch this back, he can, uh, you know, rewatch it and, and see kind of where he went wrong and how he can improve himself. So, right there, he had a little bit of idle time. His villagers finished the crate. So, you can shift click your villagers to go from the crate instantly to a resource instead of you know, them being idled there for a few seconds. Now, building a house. Um, good job. Yep, shoot it. Sorry, heard it closer to TC. It's good. Uh, didn't, not really the best killing the deer right there. He could have just, after he shot it the initial time, could have went back on the hunt right here. Um, or kill like one of these deer are very close to town center where it have very little walking time for new villagers uh, That's a little bit further away, but not horrible, but you know, it's every little thing could be could be a little more optimal of course So crap got plans is Dutch He's got four villagers on gold so we can uh, Train his villagers as uh, Dutch villagers cost 100 gold rather than most civilizations villagers cost 100 food. See, Crab got, got 20 coin uh, treasure so far, that's it. Um, I haven't really been going for a crack shot, crack shotting the beer and picking up 40 with treasure. Nice treasure to pick up there. And he actually probably could fight this explorer since he does have an envoy and the envoy could punch. So, Crab got kind of uh, backing away unnecessarily, honestly. He's, he's taking quite a bit of damage. Ooh, and Samwise is going to sharp shot that. And now, if I was Crab Guy, I would put my explorer in snare mode and, and snare the, uh, the Russia explorer. But it looked like Crab Guy was a little bit too slow with it. I think that he tried to do that, but he just was too slow with it. And now, Samwise is kind of just retreating. And if you're, if you're going to keep tracking down the explorer, you could shoot. If not, going back in the fire mode, but. At this point, Samwise kind of escaped. But he could keep tracking him down, keep putting shots in like this. Uh, definitely not a bad option. Samwise shipping distributive is um. Crab got still tracking down the explorer. Could get some shots in, I think. Right, he should be in range right there to shoot and then immediately walk. Oh, just canceled it. Three villagers shipped for Crab Got. And I'm not a Dutch player, but I believe what you're. It's been a while since I played but Dutch, but he's floating in 100 coin and he's got 800 food, so you should. You basically want to pull your villagers off coin at one point so that you can uh, get like your last villager queued up and then put every villager on food so that you can get up to HC like quicker. Uh, looks like he's aging up probably a bit late because yeah, he's got like a lot of coin in the bank right now, so he definitely he could have aged up a bit sooner. He just looks like he did 17 village up, uh, or 16 village up. He could have done a 15. Mm -hmm. 
Still just scouting the map here. Uses Envoy. It's good. Good job. He's splitting up his explorers, uh, being active with both explorers, which is good. And looks like he's in position to steal this treasure. Uh, if he's paying attention, there he goes. Now he sees it. And see, he should get the steal. And nice. Good job, I crab got. Stealing the treasure there. And a nice little woof for his trouble. And looks like crab got went, went with a market. And Samwise going with a very aggressive blockhouse. Wow, look how close that blockhouse is. Um, so, in interesting opening of the market. I believe Dutch usually opens with a, their first bank before they do a market. Um, also, the banks, or this market's pretty far out. It does give line of sight, but really, versus a rushing civilization like Russia, I would build it closer and kind of make a wall with it. Like, you could place it right here, and this would be, like, walled off here. It, would, it could, like, take up this whole area and just, like, perform, be, like, a natural wall. Um... Aging with the 400 wood politician. And Samwise is actually building a TP behind this. And we're going to have barracks being built back at home. Uh, that's a pretty good barracks, like behind, kind of behind the TC, close to the TC. The house uh, would be a little bit better here, like if it joined like the natural wall. That uh, It's really good with the Dutch civilization. You can use your banks and like houses and everything to make like walls. And since the Dutch are like a very like defensive defensive sieve and like the you know kind of sit in turtle, uh, building building placement is really important with the Dutch. Should call Miniman if you cancel the villager and call Miniman. I don't know how many old oh, pikes popping, but that's huge. The pikes could have been massive there, but he accidentally popped the pikes on this side of the town center. If he would have changed the rally point to here, he would have snared those Cossacks, and actually he would have got an amazing trade. So just something as simple, small as that is like popping the pikes on the wrong side of the TC was like massive. Like he could have like got a huge trade there and that could have like went really well for him. But uh, he accidentally popped the pikes here instead of here and, and, and now it's almost like as if the pikes were wasted. You know, he could have killed, he could have killed like all the Cossacks for free there. That would have been massive. Um, so just, you know, I gotta be on point with those, with your unit pops there. It was a good job of like baiting him in kind of, but then he just messed up the, the unit pop. And you see this many muskets, you're wanna, gonna wanna call Miniman here. If you, have, if you have, if he doesn't have enough gold to call Miniman, you either wanna cancel some bills that are in queue so you can call the Miniman, or even sell food, sell, sell uh, food and wood. Like if he, uh, that, that could've went really well. Like if he had called Miniman and used the Miniman to snare, he had like a good army to like to put you know win win. Um, if he would have been able to force a fight there, like this is a really good army to counter that army. Um, and Samwise went like really far in where he was kind of susceptible to like minimum pop potential snare. But uh, Samwise just being able to retreat now. First bank is going down for Crab got. Uh, text completed. He built the market and he got gang saw. Just gang saw. Uh, no hunting dogs yet, but he is, you know, facing a lot of aggression, so. And bank wagon being shipped for crab guy. Yeah, like, man, if those pikes would have caught, like, the husk, that would have been, like, it would have been so huge. Like, it's quite unusual to ship pikes as your first HC shipment. Um, but if you get like an amazing trade, it can be pay off. And like if they would have caught the Cossack, then it would have been like really beneficial, you know, worth it. But uh, pretty good chop stop, oh, uh, job getting the snare there. But oh, he could have had the skirms get like at least like a couple volleys here. He like backed away with the skirms. If he would have went this, like he knew the cavalry were going this way. If he would send the skirms here, they'd get a couple shots. And uh, I mean, they wouldn't even be in, uh, under any threat since your pipes are here. So I definitely missed. Uh, a chance like if he would have done it optimally he would have killed like at least one Cossack probably like two and he kind of let the I think he had the Cossack snared at one point with the pikes but then they kind of got on snared pretty good villager control uh, reaction time there and you do want to use your explorer I don't think I've seen him use his explorer much especially when you're defending rushes the explorer can actually be really important since uh, he can be a, he can be a really big tank, take a tank a lot of damage, and you can also use them the snare uh, units. Seven hundred wood coming out for crab got here. More skirmishers being trained. Four Cossacks being shipped for Samwise. 
And it looks like it's go time for Samwise. So you get, you see this giant army, you have to call Miniman, like right away call Miniman. So that they get here on time. Like Miniman could, with Miniman this could be almost be like a decent trade, but Miniman's still not out. Finally the Miniman are out, but you want to have the pikes on the Cossack at this point. Don't make, it's kind of making the Miniman useless. Um, you could have had the pikes on Cossack and the... Oop. And not using the Explorer, unfortunately, would be, would be big in this fight. Pikes starting to wander a bit too far from the skirmishers. Explorer still not being used at all. Yeah, just just the little things like that. That's gonna be GG game. Game one going the same way. So yeah, just basically everything I said. Just the little things uh, can really add up and just be a massive difference. Um, like just getting the pikes. One of the biggest things, biggest point was when the pikes accidentally popped here when there were like a ton of Cossacks right here and could have like killed all those Cossacks and been a massive trade. But um, hopefully Crab Bat gets uh, some use out of this. You know, being able to watch this back and learn from his mistakes, and uh, you know, see where what he could work on to improve. All right, we're gonna go ahead and back out and get right in game two. All right, game two being played on Maple. Let's go ahead and spin the wheel for Samwise. See what Sip Samwise gets here in game two. Samwise getting the port civilization, and spin that wheel for Crab Yacht. See what Crab Yacht gets here in game number two. Crab Yacht getting the British Civilization. Alright, we're getting in game two here in this best of five between Samwise and Crab Yacht. Game two being played on Naple. Samwise playing as Port Civilization, Crab Yacht playing as the British. As far as nobody's commenting about background noise, can you guys not hear us right now? There's like some, like a really loud drill. There's always like construction work going on outside my place. So yeah, there's a bit of a, I see a lot, some people in the chat talking about Crab God. This is a bit of like a spotlight uh, showing for Crab God. Like put his name in, uh, introduce his name to like the competitive scene. It's it's a cool way to think. Even if you you know he's not gonna really have like a realistic chance of being the same wise, it's a cool way uh, for the competitive community to like uh, you know know who get be introduced to him and and uh, potentially like help him grow as a player. As a, you know, he's at a decent rank where like you know, he could definitely uh, continue to progress and you know have some potential and all that and get more involved in the comp competitive community. So let's take a look. We have Crab Got in the purple, playing as the British, Sam Wise in the blue, playing as the port. And it looks like it was a 300 wood start. So Crab Got going for a manor, market, and hunting dogs. And would you look at this treasure? That, that monkey ain't leaving that cliff. Uh, Crab got picking up a 50 XP. Samwise getting an 85 wood already. So Crab got um, doing a pretty good job, and obviously, as you see right now, he is three gold over. He's gathering too much gold right now for hunting dogs. He's got to really pull these villagers off now. You want to be pretty really on point with this. Uh, yeah, hopefully you notice this soon because if not, you know you can really overgather a resource and slow down your age up significantly. And he's still on the gold, so definitely a bit of a mistake here. Looks like he's focusing on his explorer. Um, but yeah, you want to try to gather the exact amount to get hunting dogs, but now he's already 50 gold over what he was supposed to gather, so that's actually quite a uh, substantial amount. Unless if, I don't know if he's going, what he's really going for. He does see this gold charger, so he could, like he overgathered so much that he could potentially like turn this into like. Uh, manor. Like, if he gets this treasure... Oh, he didn't use cracks. He just regulated attacked the tiger, though. I don't think he meant to do that. I don't know if his crack shot was on cooldown, but 
Yeah, obviously a big mistake there. Taking oh, he may actually lose his explorer here. Uh, just you guys got to back up and just call it, call it quits, call it a day here. I mean, uh, just give up on this treasure rather than you know go for it. He he attacked the two tigers. I guess the crash shot was either on cooldown. I don't know if he thought he did the crash shot or what, but at least he, he got his explorer out there. That was close. He almost lost it, so good job at least not losing the explorer there. And now he could like crash out this and yeah, pick up a free forty wood. So. Yeah, but when you do a market of hunting dogs in age one, you really want to pay close attention to your villagers and not overgather gold. Like he overgathered gold by seventy five. Like that's a huge amount. So that's gonna slow down his age up by a lot. So you just want to be more mindful of that, of that when you're doing the age one market. And Sam White shipping ATP as his first card, and uh, he's aging now and now dropping two TPs and uh, probably gonna be going for a third there. Oh, what are you doing? He, he's kind of just unaware of how strong the explorer is, I suppose. Uh, had the explorer try to attack the snow leopard, but he ain't gonna win that fight. Uh, so just wait for the crack shot to come back. And now crab got on his way up to H2. How funny, you, you, oh, I gotta read the chat, are you guys hear this? This sounds so funny, just hardcore hammer drilling, yeah, you guys just hear it, right? It's probably really loud. It's just so annoying, dude. And like, I swear, there's always fucking construction going on. Maybe sometimes when I'm sleeping, it's usually not this loud, but man, this is fucking annoying. Do you hear he's being evicted for two competitive RTS gaming? I didn't pay, I didn't pay my rent, man, they're coming for me. Uh, I might as well turn on my air conditioner. Right? I usually don't turn on my AC because it's like too loud in the background. But I got this guy with a massive drill, being really loud in the background. So I might as well not not sweat and put my AC on. Since since we're never a ton of background noise, regardless. Uh, I wonder if the drill list, drill holder is listening to his cast. Somebody says. Got problems at the dentist. Uh, Crab got should get his explorer up here as soon as he. Oh, he just. Oh no, the monkey's uh, running away. Hopefully he can. Uh, doesn't let the monkey die and gets that explorer back. Otherwise, same way as probably gonna steal this wood treasure. So Crab got aging up. Typical age up with the uh, outpost and 200 gold. He's floating a lot of wood right now, though. He drops. Okay, now he drops a bear. So, oh, and he never got his explorer back, and which unfortunately, which allows Samwise to get this wood treasure. So definitely a bit of a slip up there. Um, and he's got a lot of gold stacked. I'm not sure what his plan is, but he's got you know 350 gold and five villagers on gold. Like that it looks like his macro is really kind of off. I'm not sure what he's going for, but. Um, it just seems like way too much gold right now. Looks like maybe he just researched sealed traps. He just started researching it. What's louder, the drill or the AC? Seven and wood arriving for Crab Got. Five muskets popping out of the barracks here. And yeah, so it looks like he just has too many villagers on gold. Since he's going for muskets, he's like floating, you know, like 300 gold. And muskets only cost 25 gold. Dropping a second barracks. Pretty early for a second barracks, to be honest. Usually you want to get more manners going um, rather than a second barracks this early. It's going to be hard to just have the resources to. You know, produce units from both uh, barracks. Steel traps not being researched. Drill is sharper, the AC is a constant noise. Hear both. <laughs> this is like most background noise in any stream ever. 
What's <laughs> guy streaming and he's got AC going and I'm fighting someone drilling next door. Grab got using his musket to uh, try to see down on the trading posts. However, ATP is pretty much broken, so it's just gonna like not be cost efficient for Grab got. Is guy actually drilling into your wall? Uh, no, I don't think so. He's just like right. He's like right next door though. Same wise with a lot of muskets here, gonna force Crab got to retreat. Crab got shipping five bills after uh, seven hundred wood, nice. But yeah, as we're seeing, he's just floating a lot of uh, gold. He looks like he's going for two racks muskets, but just kind of overgathering gold early on. Imagine if I was trying to sleep right now, because I like work night shift, and a lot of times, like usually, I sleep, my days off, I sleep during the day, and I'd be having to deal with this. <laughs> TLS says, rumor has it he's building an ex he's having an extension built from all the money he's making from subs. <laughs> uh, that's not if only. If only. A lot of muskets moving forward here for Samwise. Uh pretty good Miniman. Well, a little bit premature, I suppose, with Miniman call. And yeah, Samwise seeing it being on retreat. If Crab Guy would have been able to get us around with these muskets and get a snare, then uh that could have went really went really well, but instead, uh uh, Min Man are actually completely wasted here. Not even getting a single shot in. But it's not always easy timing, you know, the Min Man's. <laughs> Stop building your house while streaming. Like, it sounds like, uh, now the hammer, this guy's like hammering. It sounds like he's like hammering my damn wall. God, dude. This is fucking, this, and this shit's going, been going on for like months, dude. I swear, they've been doing construction like for so fucking long. Every, it's kind of like the same story almost at like every apartment I've had like on north side though it's always like freaking construction noises going on there's a good amount of muskets here and then shipping musket attack uh, so I mean not, not too bad of a build from Krav yet but obviously his macro was a little bit off there early on especially and floating a lot of wood now you either want to like you know put your throw down your manners or do something but got a good amount of wood in the bank when I really use that same wise up to H3. <laughs> Anyone doubt a kick ass flute flute of Chicago? He's, he's the one fucking drilling next to me. Dude, this guy ain't quitting with that drill, is he? Muskets are upgraded for Samwise. Samwise pushing on in. Very forward down center for Samwise here. Yeah, I was gonna remind me to set up like a donation goal for like the future GUA sub event or something. I'll do that for maybe like next year, I guess. Kind of set that up. It's fun to you know, try to keep these sub tournaments rolling, keep them going. Keep everyone cast the doors, moving across the map here. Grab got going H through here, but he's got a lot of pressure here. I mean, at this point, you don't really need to be poking. He's crab got's basically poking too much. I mean, he's getting some decent, he's getting some pretty decent shots now, I guess. But for the most part, you should really just back up here and wait for your age up. There's just too many units here from Samwise. Two organs crossing the map here. Oof, getting them valleys in. Yeah, 
And uh, nice bats, 10 Lombos being trained here. Before he ages up. Uh, but yeah, kind of wasting some muskets. Should try to just more so retreat. But yeah, it's obviously a very tough hold here at this point. So, you want to time these unit pops out right. Let's see what where the Lombos pop. Are they, is it going to be a good pop or a really bad pop? It's about to age up. I mean, it's, there's kind of no real good spot right now to put him, but... Wait, what did he... Oh, what the hell? Cra crab guy, you crazy psycho. <laughs> he aged up with the 400 wood and the boat politician. Oh, man, that's just not good. On right on land map, you just have to age up with, like, the Lombo, man. Just age up with Lombos. It's... Yeah, 400 wood ain't worth it. Oh, there's a 2-0. Uh, Samwise up 2-0. And we're going to get right in game three. All right. Game three going to be played on Tibet. Let's go ahead and spin the wheel. Switch if Samwise gets here in game number three. Samwise in the Ottoman civilization. Let's go ahead and spin it for Crab Got. So it's if Crab Got gets here in game number three. Crab Got getting the Dutch. Uh, best of five here. Same wise from the up to zero. Crab got asking for the re roll. Alright, let's respin for Crab got. See what Sibby gets here. Crab got getting the Japan slip. Alright, we're getting the game through here in the best of five between uh, Samwise and Crab got. We have Ottoman versus Japan being played on some bets. And we hopefully line up another tournament series right after this one. Oh, nice. The Zod's on. All right, awesome. We're going to be seeing Mini Molt versus Zod right after this uh, series wraps up. Yeah, usually I don't put the AC on uh, when casting, but we got somebody drilling, making a house right next to me. So I think you guys can hear the drill noise, so we're just, we're saying fuck it. And I'm just going to decide not to sweat and put on the AC. Uh, it's it's taking quite a long time to load in, unfortunately. Alright, there we go. Did the, the guy drilling hit the power line, or what? Alright, Samwise in the blue plane is the Ottoman civilization. Crab got in the purple plane as Japan civilization. Very sloppy villager worker here to give Crab got some tips. You can uh, kind of shift click your villagers and you don't want them walking around bumping into each other. Uh, you just want to you know, minimize the walking time and bumping time and uh, just be a little more efficient with uh, your crate splits. And they have two berry bushes here, so they only start with one cherry orchard. And Samwise immediately going for a training post here. So I've got uh, built the shrine, 80 wood treasure. 
Trying to find, track down some of these uh, yaks here. Nice, nice. Gonna want to keep it. Oh, that's unfortunate. Same way, stole the yaks and killed them all. If you're moving your explorer back like this, you might as well just walk them with the yaks to, you know, escort them back home kind of safely. Um, that's quite huge, kind of having a jet player lose three, three yaks like that. It's pretty big. Samwise on his way up to age two. Crab got gives me a long time. Crazy the age up difference this is gonna be. Auto versus Jap and Tibet, interesting. Three villagers coming. Samwise was aging before his three villagers got shipped. <laughs> I feel like that's insane. Crab got shipping uh having the economy, so standard age one Japan uh, shipment. Uh, nice job going for the uh, two tigers here, going for his treasure. However, Samwise can get here and potentially steal it. Let's see, Craig got uh, treasure contention uh, skills here. Oh, Samwise with the crack shot and gets a steal. Pretty big 85 wood going Samwise there. Crab got proof back both explorers. And Samwise moving across the map with um, two villagers here. Crab got just now starting to age up as Samwise is almost in age two. Samwise is up with the 400 wood age up politician. Let's see what he goes for here. <laughs> hey guys, can take a break until I'm done casting here with you, the Asian Dynasty. <laughs> oh, we're so sorry to be that, no problem. Should I tell them that? Should I tell the construction workers? Uh, done casting. <laughs> if they don't mind taking five, taking a break. <laughs> I'll be hilarious. Imagine like, <laughs> imagine if I did that, they'd be like so fucking confused. <laughs> Just imagine saying some shit like that. That'd be hilarious. Oh man. Samwise is going with uh, two train posts here, and he just have his barracks up. It's ship seven hundred wood. Oh, nice little wall here from Crab Got. I'm not sure if it walls it off completely though. To be honest, I doubt it does. I feel like you can probably walk through. Puts up another wall. Uh, I think it's like the same exact wall. It would be better to do like the angle one and then delete it. So it's like, I, it, I don't know, it's weird. It looks like here it's blocked off now. This, I don't know, it's kind of hard to say. But like an angle, whoa, a triple layer wall here. But it's kind of the same story. You need to like put an angle one here to at least like finish it off. But I mean, that's it's smart, like wall in there, yeah. <laughs> triple layer wall. Janice is going to start sieging down the shrines, and we do have an artillery foundation going up for Samwise here. Some runs of corn arriving for Samwise, and he's working on his third trading post here. Barracks going up for Crab Yacht. And five more Jans are trained for Samwise. I think it's going to be perhaps go time, or is he going to just gonna continue to track down shrines? 600 wood being shipped for Crab Yacht here. Help him continue to 
build shrines and uh, get some military force out. And Samwise happy to just continue siege and shrines here. A couple grenaders even, interesting. Some Ashley's being trained for Crab Guy. Gonna try to push back the Jans. So you look at Crab Guy's control here. Oh, they're going way too far. Uh, not so hot. Yeah, obviously you want to keep a better, closer eye on your Ashley's there. Like that's just massive, you know, huge mistake there from Crab Guy. Um, basically letting three Ashley's die for free. Just want to. Uh, you know, shoot and then retreat and just obviously just have a little bit better control there. Looks like he was just uh, distracted at the wrong time. Got to know when to prioritize what, essentially. And Samwise just continuing the siege here. More grenaders, and it is go time for Samwise. This is pushing with a lot of jams and uh, seven grenaders here. And this is going to be a tough hold for Crab Guy here. Take a look at these grenaders, see what they can get these volleys off here. One of them firing away. Same wise, a little bit scared though. He's backing up. He ain't, you don't want to go in too far. You don't want to mess with the crib, guy. <sighs> Grenadiers do have a really long animation. It can be tricky sometimes uh, trying to make sure the animation doesn't get canceled. Not sure if Crab God uses attack move. Uh, if he doesn't isn't aware that you know there's attack move hockey, which just you know, tells units to basically attack like the closest unit and uh, can help with like micro and kind of hitting and running and stuff. Um, knowing when and to use it, could do you know try to get double seven minutemen here if he has the resources. He's kind of forced to fight here. Well, he, he's kind of retreating, but he could add potentially a good minimum call there. And fortunately, Crab got all of his villagers are idled here. Yeah, so it looks like looking at the schedule, it's almost like 3 p.m. for me. We're going to see Mini Malt and Zod immediately after this series, and then that will. Uh, most likely be the last series of the day. Alright, GG. Same wise taking a 3-0. Thanks. Um, but, um, yeah, I hope uh, Kirk got enjoyed playing and thanks for subbing and participating in the tournament. Hopefully watching this back, you know, can help you. Uh, you know, get some good tips. But, alright, that's me for this one. See you guys in the next one.